Right now on the News Edge at 8, an up-close look at utter devastation. Tonight, we are the only local news station taking you on the ground in the Bahamas. We have the exclusive look at what this brand new area will look like. The News Edge at 8 starts right now. Fox 35 News Edge at 8 starts now. And we begin tonight with the latest on the cleanup effort in the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian ravaged the region. Good evening, I'm Stephen Howe. Now to Brevard County, someone using a cat for target practice. It was shot 13 times. New tonight by the News Edge at 8, a hangout spot underneath I-4. The city of Orlando planning a sprawling nine-acre park right below the interstate. Tonight, we're getting an exclusive look at the design. A news alert, a new gun control plan could be on President Trump's desk by the end of the week. Let's get digital. Trender tracker Tabitha is joining us now with what's popping on our pages. And we start with this pretty interesting one, a unique stowaway in a kid's backpack. Yeah, so this is Django. Nine students taken to the hospital after eating gummies at school laced with THC. The new station's Heather Gustafson live tonight with more on this. Heather. Well, Stephen, it's really scary. Another scorcher out there today, but we may be getting some relief soon in the form of rain and a little bit of cooler weather. Chief Meteorologist Glenn Richards joins us now with a look at that, but toasty indeed today. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, very hot day today here in Central Florida. Looks like the heat is on again for one more day tomorrow. So what we actually Time now for the Sports Zone on the News Edge at 8. I'm joined by sports anchor Evan Fitzgerald. First up, UCF getting set for what could be the most challenging game of the regular season. Yeah, no doubt about it. Next on the News Edge at 8, the latest rankings of the best colleges in the country is out, and Florida schools are cleaning up. Right now on the News Edge at 8, when bears attack, a local woman walking her dog will end with a smile. A reminder from a squirrel here, just to take a moment to stop and smell the flowers. That's right, just take a moment. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. The trial for an accused cop killer continuing today with a fellow inmate taking the stand against him. The new station's Holly Bristow has the latest from the courthouse. Well, the most compelling evidence today coming. That's a, lot, that's a first world good problem is, for, for to UCF, have a good for bench sure. at QB yeah. for sure. Next up, the Gators will be without a couple of their big stars for this weekend's game for them. Yeah, and you know, this isn't what you're looking for if you're Florida because certainly these are two of their, their very best players. Let's start. Yeah. Glorious moon this Friday night. All right, thank you, Tabitha. These stories and much more on Fox35Orlando.com. And still ahead on the News Edge at 8, we're taking you on the ground in the Bahamas as Hurricane Dorian slammed the island. A local couple capturing this unbelievable video as they tried to survive the monster storm. A boy's last-minute decision to help those in need in the Bahamas has paid off for him big time. The new station's David Martin has this heartwarming story. To be with sports anchor Adam Shadoff. First up, it is Monday, but there are plenty of high school football games, of course, because of what Dorian did to this. Yeah, schedule. so we had, I mean, Friday night's schedule was decimated because of the storm. A consumer alert, the FDA blasting vaping giant Juul. The feds say the company has fueled what they're calling a public health crisis. That wasn't pretty. Hopefully they can turn things around for sure. Well, thank you, Adam. Let's check back in now with Glenn for a final check of the forecast. All right, looking pretty good. First thing tomorrow morning is...